uh, splash in the bath of languages that we've had here. So just wanted to say a very huge thank you to uh, Nihil and everybody involved for organizing this. So thank you very much. Um, I'm going to read from a book of poetry that I wrote called Wide Slumber for Lepidopterists. And a lepidopterist is a person who studies butterflies and moths. This book pairs the study of lepidoptery with the study of sleep and dreams and uh, sees what happens when these two incompatible bedfellows uh, breed. Collect, kill, and mount specimen. Catch specimen in aerial net. Pinch thorax between thumb and forefinger. Slide specimen into envelope, storing box with insecticide. Relax dried specimen by placing in humid environment. Use fungicide to prevent mold growth on specimen. When specimen is adequately relaxed, remove from humidity using forceps. Hold specimen by thorax and force insect pin through middle of body between wings. Pin specimen to mounting board. Insomnia. We descend on a field by a lake. The looping, sleep, the fog. Fireflies. Silent moths. We bury our legs in sand. Sound through sand is dormant. We desire sleep to enter virginal. We stretch our feelers toward the warm body. Slowly, hands fog damp, spin plants. Form air-filled hollows, breath cocooned, fur soft and blurred, heavy even, heavenly, whoosh, soft, like quiet, ha, soft, 
like we quiver. Slow, light touch of hand on wing, scales brush off like butterfly kisses, hand on brow, eyelash dew and fog, breath and fur our entrance, and we caress the dulled, wet passage, the flicker of soft, quiet, like sound or sand, when larva eats its eggshell and becomes pupa. We tongue our shell, our conch. We smell the honeysuckle, sweat heavily in the night air. Heave. <gasps> Whoosh. The fragrance a push, a belly against abdomen, tongue buried deep in the suckle, the honey, and the brush for its wakened crowd, thrust or pulse, spastic praxis, massive pulse out of sync. This is not what this is. No, we intended. We thought sleep and none came. We come. Ha. <coughs> Horned caterpillars, epilepsy, wood nymphs, spin and hang, crude cocoons. We hold our slow, high flight. We are taught while we thrust against the inner wall. Sleep is bruised, or screams, or none comes, but we desire. We feel the full, hot flesh of our wings swipe grass, scrape sand. We push ourselves out of ourselves, into our sound, our hand, our sweet, wet, hot, our path, mourn, rake, master, or muster. Glisten, swell, come, and the story's arousal. Twenty eyes unblink when the sun's awake and, even when it's not, the brain speaks, screams, swells, and huge battened eyes of a hundred hungry mouths. No, moths, wait. This will move. Will move to sleep. Not yet. Diurnal motion, a heavenly body, a soft, steel wool. Diurnal panic, or we come, and the sweet hot bull of the electricity of our shell holes, our steel holes, shocks us. Lightning for our hole, up into the sand, we roll away from ourselves, breathless. Whoosh! <coughs> we have five seconds of lightning, and love, like. <coughs>